Hi, Thai grading system is different from other school systems around the world. The first thing you have to understand is that in the kingdom, there is no promotional exam or final exam as practiced in other parts of the world. However, there are two terms and each of these terms has either mid-term or final term exam. This and many more will be discussed in today's video. But before I dive onto this topic, I urge you to hit the subscribe button. If you are a new teacher in the kingdom and you are wondering about the grading system, they worry not because I've got you covered. Like I earlier mentioned, you have to understand that there is no final or promotional exam in the kingdom. However, the school year is divided into two terms, term 1 and term 2, and each of these terms might have two exams. The first one is known as mid-term exam, and the second one is known as final term. And as a teacher, you are expected to provide grades during this uh, two session. And the best way to go about this is to combine grades uh, during your classes. So if you're teaching kids uh, in the course of the school term, you have to be able to put your scores together, perhaps, uh, perhaps in an Excel file. And once you've done this, at the end of the midterm or final term, once you're testing the students, there will be a particular score in which you're testing your learners. Your classwork usually makes up majority of the score. Maybe your employer will tell you that your classwork should be on 70% and your midterm exam should be on 30 or it could be vice versa. But just know that classwork carries a majority of the score and that is because there is no fail policy in Thailand. Students do not repeat the class, so there is no fail policy. Hence, you are supposed to compile your grade and make sure that everybody passes and these same procedures apply to term two where you have midterm and final exam and at the end of the school year the scores for both term is combined to provide the final grades for the students however some schools may not uh, require a teacher to give midterm exams or to even set exams at all what do we need is just your class scores you may combine your class score again by either giving or unit test and that is at the end of each unit you may want to test the students or perhaps you may decide to compile scores using other aspects like attendance or um, participation doing homework and a host of other activities that you think you might want to grade your students on so this is what like roughly describes uh, the grading system in Thai education and if you're wondering how to go about your grades, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section of this video. And I will definitely be happy to give you more insight, perhaps sharing with you my grade 5 for you to see how grades are being done. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button.